Okay, so here we have some basic arithmetic with negative decimals and fractions. Let's start with 49. We have 1.58 minus a negative 13.6. So before I think about the decimals, I try to think about the operation with a negative. Subtracting a negative is like adding. So the first thing I do is rewrite this as addition. And now I'm going to order it over here. I have 13. 0.6, and of course we're dealing with place value, so the location of the number is very important, right? Let me just fix this, sorry. Alright, I regret that. We have 13.6 and 1.58. So where does the 1 go? Well, it lines up with the 3 and the 13. They're both the same place value, the 1's value. And then 0.5 lands up with 0 0.6, those are both, both tens. And then we have an 8 here as well. Now in 13.6, we don't have to write it, but there is a 0 here. In fact, we can write as many zeros after this as we want. It won't change the value. So now we line it up and we just add place values. 8 and 0 is 8. 6 and 5 is 11, carry the 1. 3 and 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5, and then 1 plus 0 is 1 drop down our decimal and we have our answer. Here the answer is 15.8 for the first question. The next one, similar idea. Again, we're subtracting a negative, so we can think of that as addition. And we start with negative 3.6 plus 12. So what do we do there? Well, you might remember that if you have a negative plus um, a positive, you could, you could think of like the difference between them because you're allowed to reverse the order here with when you're adding and what you can see when you add and switch the order is this you get 12 plus negative 13.6 I'm going to leave out that last term for a little bit addition is commutative you can change the order and what I see as soon as I write this is that we're adding a negative and that's just like subtracting a positive so we can think of this as 12 minus 13 Point six. Now, what do we do next? Like, where is this going? Well, 12 minus 13.6, right? 12 minus 13.6 is going to be equal to the opposite, I'll put negative for opposite, of 13.6 minus 12. You might remember this from simple examples. If I take 2 minus 1, that equals 1. If I switch the order, I get 1 minus 2, that's negative 1. When you subtract and change the order, you get the opposite values. Same thing is here. I switch the order, I get the opposite value. So what does that tell me? Well, my strategy is to do 13.6 minus 12, get an answer, and then flip the result. Because that's not our answer we want, that's the opposite of the answer we want. So how do we do this? Well, I line up my place value. Right, add the zero here so I can see what's happening. Six minus zero, six. Three minus two is one. One minus one is zero, and the answer would be one point six, but we're reversing it. It's going to be negative one point six, and now we have to add fifteen point five. But again, negative one point six plus fifteen point five, change the order, and what you see is fifteen point five minus one point six, right? reverse that order and think of subtraction um, or addition by subtraction the connection there here 15 minus 6 we can't do because we could do it would give us a negative value and be confusing um, we need to borrow so I borrow this one or one of the ones there are four left and I put that into the tens place so this essentially means we have 15 tenths which is really one and five tenths um, which is what we had before but 15 tenths minus 6 tenths is 9 tenths. And then we have 4 minus 1 is 3, and 1 minus 0 is 1. Now here the answer is 13.9. We don't have to flip it. Because what we did was we reversed the order, 15.5 minus 1.6, and that was enough. That was what we solved. Before what we did was we changed the order, right? We had 12, we had um, negative 13.6 plus 12, switched the order, and then we wrote it as subtraction, and then used the flipped order because it was a larger minus a smaller number um, to solve for the original. Anyway, here the answer is 13.9.
Moving on to number 9, we have 3.5 minus 5 minus 10.4. Don't fall for that trap where 3.5 minus 5, most people see this 5 here and here, and they subtract them to get 3. But this is really 3.5 minus 5 whole units. So what does that mean? Well, if we start at 3.5 and, and we take away 5, we have to take away 3.5 to reach 0, and then another 1.5, or, uh, or negative 1.5, as our final result. We could have switched the order again, like we did before. I could have wrote 5 minus 3.5, gotten 1.5, and then swapped the answer. Swapped the value from positive to negative, and it would work. So now, anyway, we have negative 1.5 minus 10.4. So what does this mean? Well, I'm going to rewrite this as plus negative 10.4. Same idea, it's just that now it helps me keep track of everything uh, in the problem because what I'm doing is really um, adding two negatives. So we have negative 10.4 plus negative 1.5. I just changed the order. 10 and 1 is negative 11, right? Negative 0.4, negative 0.5 is negative 9.9, .9, right? And there's our answer, negative 11.9.